African Leaders Programme were well received at the platform for networking with other young leaders from Sub-Saharan Africa as well as the United States. Now the programme culminated with all 500 young African leaders attending a three-day summit hosted by President Barack Obama. We're joined by two participants who took part in the programme, that's Dr. Petrina Aueno as well as Pete Carstens. Participants spent six weeks studying various courses at uh, the U.S. institutions of higher learning. Good morning, Dr. Pete. Good morning. How are you? Very well. Good Welcome morning. back. Thank you. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home, right? Yeah. All right. What was the, over, the overall goal of the program? The program basically took 500 young African leaders and uh, took them through six weeks of intensive training. There were three different tracks, so you would do leadership and um, business or entrepreneurship, um, civic leadership, as well as public management. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the goal of the program was also to help these upcoming African leaders to prepare them and that was in view of uh, what Africa has and what Africa will be having so they can be able to take ownership of what Africa have and then take Africa to the next step and that is to uh, to, to a more prosperous Africa. A more prosperous uh, continent. Can you give us an, an overview of some of the courses that were presented? Um, depending on which track you were in, for example, I was in the business and entrepreneurship track, so we did a lot of leadership, ethic leadership, um, and then we did business courses like uh, using technology to innovate business, using technology in healthcare to advance education. Uh, we also did things like marketing, funding, um, how to start up a venture, all of these type of very intensive courses in terms of business. And then we also focused a lot on community work, uh, social aspects of business, and then uh, even though I was in business and Entrepreneurship. It also involved a lot of public management, um, how civil society can become more um, sustainable in terms of uh, rigorous business models, yeah. and yeah. so it was quite a, quite an intense course, but also very widespread um, information through the courses. Uh, Pete, from your side, yeah, I did any the, highlights? Yes, I did a public management track, and uh, with that we looked at policies, the formulation thereof, and how to analyze policies, how to work around. I mean, in, in public service, and when you look at, at all these things, like Petrina said, it had uh, bits and pieces of all. I mean, of the other two as well. Yeah, so yeah. You, um, you, you, it was not only concentrated in public service per se. So even though I was there for, for, for the uh, public uh, management track. There were things that I did that a business, I mean, the guys in the business track did, the guys in the civil mm, uh, leadership mm -hmm. track did, and it was to bring it together because this three cannot stand, I mean, stand on its own, so all of them are interlinked at some point. Yeah, yeah all in all, uh, what would you say were some of the, you know, most important, um, you know, uh, lessons that you took from, from the course? Um, I think, um, like, like Pete said, it was a combination of all the three different tracks. Mm. Um, I think the most important thing for myself was networking with all these young people across Africa that are doing amazing things to change the continent. So learning from them, finding solutions within Africa that can be applicable to the Namibian context, for me, was really the highlight of, of the whole um, experience. From, from all of these courses, and they do sound quite intensive, um, uh, what would you say were the most relevant to Namibia to bring back home? Because I'm in business and entrepreneurship, it's basically that whole field, but mm. also just things about leadership, for example, transformational leadership, and I think Pete can discuss a little bit more about that, yeah. um, but it was, it, was, it was a lot of lessons, really. Yeah, and the thing is, I mean, the way the program was put together, yes. uh, you, you couldn't walk away from it without anything, so like... Uh, she, she mentioned uh, the, 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 the type of leaderships. Uh, the whole time we've been operating on the tran transactional leadership style. And now the world is moving towards a more transformational, transformational type leadership. of leadership. Yeah. And, and that's the new thing. And uh, we Ex were Explain all that concept to us. Uh, transformational leadership, uh, if I may compare the two, tra transactional leadership is where you are actually driven by uh, goals towards, you know, the, whoever is leading you would like to give you something in order to get something done. Mm -hmm. But transformational leadership is to uh, influence you to do something and it comes from within the person who is, I mean, it's like motivating something to do something. Yeah, yeah. And then it's also to pass on leadership. Uh, uh, if you look at trans transactional leadership, it's like you are being pushed to become 
a leader. Mm. So, mm. I mean, if in short, if I can put it that way, that's more or less what it yeah, is in a yeah, nutshell. Yeah. Uh, the three-day summit with uh, President Obama, what was that like? Uh, electrifying. It was great <laughs> because it was the first time that all 500 uh, participants from all across Africa were together. Um, so we were networking uh, very quickly and very intensely. And then, of course, the, the, the audience with uh, President Obama was very exciting. And even more exciting, or I think, for almost... Uh, well, for all the women, was uh, also meeting with Michelle Obama. Yes. So it was it was really great, great energy. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, it was something that I've never experienced because I ended up shaking his hand anyway, just to put it in. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, uh, the house was filled with a different vibe mm. when he walked in there. And, you know, he's inspirational and... Um, not only that, and that's what everybody was looking forward to, and it was a build up towards the, the thing. Yeah. So, um, based on that, everything else that we did was actually motivated by that. Mm. So, everybody wanted to be part of it, and we learned so much more, I mean, so much out from the program. Yeah. yeah. So, you've now created, you were now afforded the opportunity to have a platform to mingle with uh, so many uh, young African leaders, uh, young Africans in leadership positions, what would you say are the major challenges when it comes to, to, to taking Africa to the next level? Yeah, um, we must see this. Uh, Africa is a hub of, um, of everything. We have the resources, and now we have realized that we also have the human resources. Yeah. So the only thing that was lacking here is how to exploit these resources, including the human resources that we have. And this program was to make us, I mean, uh, help us see that we have it and we can do it as Africans. I mean, and then learning from each other, we realize that, for instance, you have a guy in Zambia who can do something that we thought we could only get from, uh, a, I mean, from another continent or the, uh, the I mean, developed country. Mm. We have everything here, and the 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 the. the next and so on, I mean, gave us the opportunity that whenever we needed something, you just plug into this pool of resources that mm -hmm. you have and then you make use of what you have in Africa to develop Africa. Yeah. In which ways can we use this this this, this uh, networking platform um, to benefit the country? Um, I think the, uh, a very important thing is that most of uh, us from Namibia went more as representatives and not really for ourselves. So our main goal is to come back and plow back. Yes. So what's happening now is we are already linked into the Yali network. Uh, that means we are we, we, we have access to tools, we have access to people, resources, mentors, all of this that we are willing to share. Uh, at the moment, we're busy working with the U.S. Embassy to set up our, all, our own system in Namibia of how we're going to disseminate this information. So people should just stay in touch with the Facebook page of the mm -hmm, U.S. Embassy. Mm -hmm. Also, um, this is an ongoing program, so we want to serve more as inspiration for other people that want to apply to go next year. Um, so people should just... Uh, stay in touch with the with the network whether it's on on social network twitter facebook and actually look out for what we'll be doing for the next couple of months but important is that we're willing to we 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 we, we see ourselves as representatives we were the lucky ones to get to 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 washington but it's not really it doesn't stop with us yeah and <laughs> to add to what petrina said is that uh for those who aspiring to, to go next year. It's very important that you get involved. I mean, be active as a young leader. And these are the criteria, one of the criteria that will be looked at when you apply. Mm. And not only sit there and be a leader by, 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 word, by, by word, but be a leader by action. Yeah. yeah, and one of those main actions is actually community work, and uh, a spirit of volunteerism is something that I think we need to cultivate in the in the Namibian youth because that shows that you care about your community, and ultimately that's what a leader is about. You of know? course, so and that's and that's where transformational leadership starts. Exactly. Thank you very much for making time out and talking to us this morning. Thank you for Thank having you. us. That was a Dr. Petrina Arena, as well as Pete Carsons, who were the Namibian participants in the Young African Leadership uh, Program, um, where they spent uh, an intensive six weeks um, doing various courses at uh, institutions of higher learning in the United States. We'll be back.